WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we start off our day with a mixed bag. You got the Dow trading down 78 points. The S&P's up 16. NASDAQ 100 up 130. Half percent for the Russell, 11 points. One and a half percent for the semi, 69 points there. Trainees are off 57. Gold's back 12 bucks. Silver's off 19 cents. Lights recruit up 22 pennies. New U.S. dollar index is trading to the downside, off seven ticks out here. Natural gas off seven pennies. Sort of your treasury is basically flat at 119.19. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. ES Mini upper left hand side, no topping signals, no topping patterns. A bearish reversal candle would confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. We don't have that as we speak right now. Spot volatility is below its 50 day exponents moving average. Still running right up into that rising trend line out there, but nonetheless, as long as it remains below the 50 day, that is bullish to neutral for the SP 500. The NQ trained up at its session high, basically, except for maybe a few ticks out here. Uh, no topping pattern in place. It should continue to move higher. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index traded into resistance. That's the resistance zone of its bear structured profile. That's between 103.94 and 104.11. And, of course, you can see overhead there is trend line resistance as well. So in a close today below 103.94, or 103.94 as we speak, I believe, a close below 103.94 should signal a move back to that rising trend line in the 102.90 level. A gold is, stressing its, is testing its rising trend line out here. Silver uh, testing profile support. Profile support for it is down at 22, um, I'm sorry, 2237. And then below that, you can see you got that rising trend line support as well. When it comes to lights we crude, it should go target as TD9 count top. As TD9 count top is priced at 7826. As price gets up to that level, we'll see it hit a little cluster of trend line resistance as well. Natural gas trading lower. No bottoming signal in sight as we speak. Now, there is a way to get to wave number seven in today's uh, candle session. Maybe we'll take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. That would need at least a higher low to confirm a bottom. In the intraday charts, I did look at it earlier, and they are attempting to form that bottom out there, but I don't think it's the one. We take a look at that 30-year Treasury testing profile support. And it's down at 119.23. A close below that should take price to 119. You close below 119, even Stephen, it'll generate an A to B equals CD to the downside. Folks, stay tuned, if you will, for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fabulous one, a fantastic weekend. And we we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. Thanks for joining us.